Barakamon episodes 11 and 12. Mm, I'm so excited. So Honda is back in Tokyo. And even though this is his element, he does look out of place because we're so used to him being on the secluded island. He goes to see Kawafuji and his uh, calligraphy, which has arrived, the, the one of Star, where it's um, white on black as opposed to the other way around. And he really needs some positive feedback on it, but Kawafuji's like, hmm, it's a nice size. <laughs> he doesn't say anything else about it. So the, the director who's going to show up is the same director that um, Honda punched in the face which prompted him to go on this little excursion. He's terrified, not only because he punched this guy in the face, but also because he, he can't handle rejection right now. He's very fragile. Kafuji says, it's very grand and captivating. It doesn't seem like your style. And Honda's like, no, I mean, that's exactly, exactly the point, right? Because I've never done anything like this. It's so exceptional, right? Then the director shows up. Honda starts it all off by bowing very deeply like 90 degrees and is like, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I did not have any right to do what I did. And the director accepts the apology. He's like, you know, I, I came here deciding that I wasn't going to forgive you, but now that I see you apologizing, I have to do it. You deserve it. Then the director takes a long look at Honda's calligraphy, the white on black. <laughs> He's feeling so defensive that before the director can even respond, he immediately throws tea all over his face. <laughs> but the director, once he gets a chance to say what he feels about the piece, he actually really likes it. He thinks that it really reflects the stars that the calligraphy represents. He's not the only judge, but if he was, he, he would probably award this the grand prize. So then the director leaves, and Honda is left like, Oh, I got tea all over my calligraphy! <laughs> the car that the director got into has a driver. Oh, it's Honda's dad. Ah! Sometime later, Kawafuji goes to visit Honda and discovers him, like, working tirelessly on his calligraphy because he has to make a new draft because he destroyed the other one with tea. But he's having such a hard time, he wants to go back to the island! Okay, so now Honda's trying this new thing with Kawafuji and... What's that other kid's name? Kosuke? And for some reason it involves tying them up, and I guess mom walks in and she's like, Oh, I have walked in on something I didn't want to see. He's trying to recreate his experiences on the island by getting his friends to act like people from the island. Honda reflects on how this is his big break, his rebirth into the calligraphy world. Oh, and then he gets a phone call from the island! Like, literally everyone is there calling him! So they're all like, we're thinking about you, but why didn't you say goodbye? Then they're kind of like, you're gonna come back, right? After you're finished doing whatever you're doing, you're gonna come back to the island, right? So when he doesn't address that question, all the kids run off and he's just kind of like, "Aww." <laughs> so he goes through his things and he finds the um, list of names for the temple that someone on the island asked him to rewrite. And I guess rewriting the names is very inspirational to him. Um, helps him get a feel of the island all over again. So in the morning, he has the finished product. We don't get to see what it is in this episode, but we know he's called it Ishigaki. All right, one more episode to watch. Back on the island, all the kids are gathered like, oh, we have to get ready for when Sensei comes back. I know we've all been hanging out in his house since he's been gone, but now let's clean it up and get it ready for when he returns. Meanwhile, back in Tokyo, um, Honda's mom really doesn't want him to go back to the island. But he has been thinking about going back there. So Kawafuji comes by and he says, Oh, I've delivered the calligraphy to the exhibition. Um, we still haven't seen it yet. Mom wants them all to sit around the table and have a discussion about whether or not Honda should go back to the island. Or if he should stay there. Kawafuji, of course, is on the side of him staying in Tokyo. So he's like, yeah, I guess I disagree with your parents on this point. Honda asks everyone to consider his needs and what he's like and how he's happier on the island. Weirdly, Dad then switches sides onto Honda's side. I guess Dad used to live on the same island, too. He was good friends with the village chief, which is Hiroshi's Dad. Then they look through all these old pictures from when Dad went to the island. And Mom is left as the only one on the opposite side of the table, like, ah, no one's paying attention to me. So Dad looks right at his son 
and is like, you know, no one's forcing you to go, no one's forcing you to stay, it's your own decision. You have to think about whether or not you want to go, and then follow your heart. Then he gets a package in the mail from the people on the island. They sent him snacks and toys and stuff. So sweet. And, um, Tama got gold prize in the calligraphy contest, and Miwa got silver prize. And seeing that makes mom change her mind and is like, you know what? Do what you gotta do. They need you there, and go there if you need to be there too. So then we go back to the island and we learn that Honda's coming back that evening. <laughs> so now they're actually going to clean up the house. Hiroshi has to eventually come over and coordinate the effort because uh, no one else will do it. So there he is, he arrived on the island. Wait, what about the calligraphy co competition? Don't we get to see what he did? Honda gets a ride back from the airport on a tractor and he's like, yeah, cool. And he's remembering his first time back from the airport when he first got to the island and he's like, aww, memories. Honda arrives at the market just as Kaofuji is calling up to find out how Honda's doing. Maybe he has information about the uh, judging of the calligraphy. Honda gets back to the house and everyone has the poppers that explode and Naru jumps for him and hugs him and it's all very adorable. But how did he do in the calligraphy competition? Oh, so I guess the results are in, and, um, you know, Honda and Kosuke actually did pretty poorly, all things considering. Um, the older folks did much better. Uh, Honda came in fifth, and Kosuke came in seventh. But Honda expressed the fact that he was okay with this result. We still haven't seen the piece yet, and that's what I really want to see. Oh, you know what he wrote? He wrote all the names of the people he met on the vi uh, in the village. That's sweet. <laughs> so we did get to see it. It was very adorable. I'm very happy with what he chose to do. So with a show like this, it's all about that swell of happiness you get at the end of the series. The good feelings that you experience as a result of the finale. So yeah, I mean like, sappy. But I'm okay with that. I, I had a great time. I loved this show. It was so much fun to watch. I'm I, The only thing I'm sad about is the fact there's only 12 episodes. I wish there was more. So next up will be a series review. It will be very positive. <laughs> I'll just, just throw that out there. And um, then I'll be starting a new show. So I'll see you next time. Bye!